Well, welcome. The moment has come. Uh, my name is Irene. Uh, I have met with probably most of you. I'm looking at the names here. And uh, I love that I get to meet with people now. Uh, I have COVID to thank for that because I have members that have been with me for years who I'm just now actually meeting face to face because before COVID, uh, people didn't Zoom and even FaceTime, you know, we just didn't get together that way. And so um, I love uh, having a, a name to your face and believe it or not, uh, I know that there's a lot of you that have, have joined, but just that one meeting that we've had and the interaction that we have via texting, uh, I already am putting together who you are and I have my little notes also um, that have helped me, uh, you know, via your application and, and things that you've kind of shared with me. So uh, little by little, I'll eventually really know who you are. So uh, I love that. Um, and it is really important to me that um, I get to know you because it helps me understand uh, the ins and the outs. So um, with that being said, if you uh, want to connect with me on Facebook, uh, my personal page, go ahead and link up to me. You just have to find me by clicking on the, uh, you know, through my Get You Fit page. Uh, you guys all know my, my name. Uh, I love knowing you guys on a personal level because it helps me understand what you guys are going through. Um, and it's it's helped me on on so many occasions when um, I've seen that a member is you know busy with gymnastics or busy with you know softball or um, you know maybe had uh, you know a, a death of a pet or you know little things like that. I mean you know God knows I don't go on Facebook that often, but um, you know to to browse around. But when I do, I I, I kind of it helps me put together who you are and who your family is and and. Uh, kind of get to know you. So um, feel free to do that if you stumble across me or go ahead and find me on Facebook and I'd love to accept that. So um, with that being said, many of you started early. Uh, many of you started early but didn't start. Uh, many of you started early and kind of did a soft start. So we're kind of like staggered and uh, this kind of happens every program. Um, there's, there's no true start date. And I've said this all along. I don't believe in a ready, set, go start. I think that puts too much pressure on people. It makes people feel like if they make a mistake or they slip, that um, they they've done something wrong. And and like anything in life, you're never going to execute something to perfection ever uh, when you when you when you do something. Um, I mean, I, I refer to parenting all the time. I mean, if we- Patrick, if we had, yeah. come on, if time we, to get up. If, Bring your stuff if, upstairs, it's uh, eight o'clock. If, if we only had, well, that was very appropriate. Uh, if we only had one chance to, uh, to parent- Sorry about that. Uh, it's okay. I'm just gonna mute everybody again. Uh, if, if, we, if we only had one uh, chance to, to parent, my God, we would have probably blown it you know, within the first few weeks. So what do we do? We try again and we learn from our mistakes. And so, so with this, that is probably my most important message. You can't mess up, um, but that is what causes diet failure. Uh, when we do have a slip, uh, we come down on ourselves, we can't self-forgive, and that causes us to self-sabotage and completely derail. And, and, and if you want to be successful, you have to learn not to do that. Um, it's not going to come easy, but it will come with my guidance, and, and you need to come to me when that happens so that I could, could steer you in the right direction. Um, and that's one of the most valuable things about a program like this. Um, if you think about it, there's there's uh, you have a, a 80 percent more likelihood to succeed when you have a coach or a guide. Uh, kids that are coached in sports succeed. So so you're doing this with a guide. So keep that in mind. Uh, ask for help, and and you will definitely receive it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, and I have a little. Uh, presentation that I sort of put together a little little visual that's going to help. Uh, whoopsie, might help if I went to the beginning of it, right? Oh, 
oh, I hate when that happens. Let's let's start this over here. So, all right. So, are you? You're not seeing the screen now, are you? No. Not yet. Okay. Let's try that again. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. All right. So here we are. So, oh, I didn't change the. I'm so programmed. I just did this this morning. This is one of the things I did this morning at 3 a.m. Uh, so 2021, trust the process. All right, so let's talk about your meal plan first. Um, it's really important that I talk to you about this um, because uh, it, it's interesting over the years, and this is the 15th or 16th program that I've, that I've done uh, over the years, people will receive the meal plan and oftentimes uh, not use it. Uh, and, and we've gotten better at it uh, through my guidance, but I want to explain the importance of, of using it. Uh, there's a huge difference between uh, eating off the plan and just following the calories. Uh, oftentimes I'll see people that are just following the calories and that is not going to be enough for you to lose weight. Uh, it might be initially, but it's not going to be enough for you to change your metabolism. And that's what's important about this program. Uh, it's unlike most others because I am teaching you how to change your metabolism and that's gonna keep the weight off. Uh, that's gonna enable you not to have to try so hard later. Um, everybody that you see that's been in the program longer, they don't have to stick to the program as much because their metabolism has been uh, strengthened. So uh, you have your calories that I gave you. You should have texted me what your uh, fitness pal told you that you got, and I should have given you approval for it or uh, given you a different number. Um, if you were told 1,200, uh, I, I can tell you right now, I, I won't approve anybody at 1,200. That's too low, it's unrealistic. And you also have a range. So you're never going to hit your calories exactly. That's impossible. And your body doesn't know a 24 hour period. Uh, it's, it's, it's a whole. So if your goal every day is 1500 and on Monday you hit 1550, but on Tuesday you were at 1480 and on Wednesday you were at 16, but then on Thursday you were at 1490, it's the big picture. So I don't believe in anybody being neurotic about hitting that exact number because that is what causes failure. That, that uh, obsessiveness to hit a number causes failure. And I've seen it happen. I've, I've gotten way too many texts where people are like, well, I only have 80 calories left, but my rice cake is 110, what should I do? Your body doesn't work that way. And unless you are putting some, all of your food through a thermogenic caloric um, uh, measuring unit, you don't know exactly what you are taking in. I mean, you're, you're not weighing every ounce of lettuce and tomato. And so it's, it's an approximate. So that's why I give you that 200 calorie range. However, don't take advantage of it. In other words, if you are at 1500 and you know you have that 200 calorie window, don't instantly think, well, I'm gonna be 17 every day because you're not gonna see as much of a result. And don't think you're gonna instantly just shoot yourself low and be at 13 every day because you will be stuck at eating a lower caloric amount for eternity. So, so use that just as a buffer. That, that, is, that is plain and simple, okay? Um, if you're hungrier, use it. If you're not hungry, Okay, um, macros versus essentials. I don't teach macros. I will explain macros la later. Um, you will follow a certain guide to macros, but again, I'm never going to have you be at a specific percentage because if you look at how macro science works, um, you won't ever know or understand 
what your exact macro percentage should be for weight loss. Um, uh, you and most people will need anywhere between 20 and 60% protein. Well, how do you figure that out? And, and, and by the time you do figure it out, are you really going to walk around the rest of your life with, with a food scale and a calculator? Um, it is unrealistic. So I have found with myself and with the, the hundreds and, and up to now thousands of clients that I've helped, I teach you what the essential um, components are of your meal. You are always going to have a fat, a protein, and a carb. And I'm going to break that down even further and tell you what kind of fats and what kind of proteins and what kind of carbs. And as long as you have those three and a certain range of those three, you'll be fine. And, and why that's more realistic is, again, um, right now it's all new and you're excited, but in a year from now, believe me, you're not going to want to be at, you know, Ruth's Chris, uh, trying to figure out if the avocado is 28 grams of healthy fat. Um, and if the steak is, uh, you know, 112 grams of lean protein, it, it, you will derail. So instead, if you know what you have on your plate, that will keep you uh, from gaining this weight back. And it's so much less stressful. It's so much less stressful. So that is actually one of the first things I'm gonna teach you right out of the gate. Um, and that's gonna be the very first Zoom uh, presentation uh, that's gonna take place uh, next week. So I'll put out the uh, information on that. Um, weight loss versus metabolism, another big one. Uh, you wanna lose weight? I want you to lose weight too, but more importantly, I want you to change your metabolic rate because uh, there's again a difference. Um, Susie's mom's friend's cousin that lost 50 pounds on keto, she lost weight. Her metabolism did not change. And Susie's mom's friend's cousin's neighbors, whatever I said, uh, you might not know that two years later or two years prior, um, she's gained all that back. You know, we only hear the success stories of those shortcuts. And, and I can tell you that the people that I have the hardest time helping are the ones that come to me after doing those types of diets because they have dysfunctional um, eating patterns and their metabolisms are very broken. So, so doing it this way, you will repair and enhance your metabolic rate. So whatever calories I have set you at, once you've hit your goal, you will be eating more than that um, at a lighter weight and not working as hard. And, and every single person you see on my, on my homepage in that before and after strip, every single one of those people is eating more than they did month one. Uh, I, and they're all still in the program um, and they, they understand how to put food on their plate. Um, and it's, it's, it's a blessing. I mean, it literally is a blessing. And so that is my goal for you. And that is, that is, should be your, your ultimate goal as well. Um, and I want to also talk about my blog and how to build your own meals, because not only can you uh, eat the, the foods on your meal plan, but um, you will learn how to build your own meals, okay? So a calorie is not just a calorie. And that's basically what my message was before. Um, complex carbs, healthy fats, lean proteins. You are going to hear that from me over and over and over. If you've gotten my book, uh, these are all highlighted in my book over and over and over. And this is the problem with macros because when people do macros and they're like, well, I'm at 40% carbs and 30% fat. And the 30% the, the fat might be counting cheese. Well, cheese doesn't help you lose weight. Cheese is a trans fat that clogs your arteries that actually does not give you energy or make you lean. Um, what you need to look at is a healthy fat. And the healthy fats are all the ones in your meal plan. The nuts, the seeds, the, the olives, the olive oils, the avocados, those are the healthy fats that you should be looking at. Uh, complex carbs, all the ones in your meal plan. The breads, the quinoas, the oatmeals, all of those healthy carbs, um, not the sugary carbs that, that are full of sugars. 
those will still come up as a carb um, on the pie chart, but that's not gonna help you lose weight. Um, so I wanted to introduce you to, I have all these characters, you're gonna meet them all, and they're all, they're all uh, my, my former clients and um, they all have silly names. And so this is Logging Lucy. And I wanted you to meet Logging Lucy because she's, she's a very common character that, that comes out of, of hiding all the time. And so Logging Lucy, she received her meal plan and she's just not seeing results. And she's been on the plan now for a month and she's on Facebook and she's so sad because everyone's losing weight and she just doesn't figure out, can't figure out why. And she's eating everything healthy. Like, I mean, she's, she, everything she's eating is healthy, um, but she's not following the plan exactly. Like she's kind of just like picking parts of the plan, but not following it exactly. Um, and so this is a common mistake made by people. And this is what will cause you to not see the results. And so a common example of this is um, the oatmeal breakfast, for example. People will not put in the nuts because they feel, well, that's extra fat. I don't that's like extra calories. Why would I want to put that in there? If you go back to the slide prior to this, healthy fat has to have that. Can't omit that. Um, you need to have that. So, so until you master and understand why I have you have these elements in your, in your plan, don't start omitting. And you all received a video with your meal plan that kind of had me talk about essentials versus non-essentials. And um, I'm not gonna get into it today because that's what the first Zoom presentation is gonna be about, but there are things that you can omit um, to make room for a daily splurge and every day, 10% of your calories should go towards a splurge. So, you know, we're talking 150 calories a day could be put toward whatever you want. Um, and I'm talking whatever you want, uh, but it has to be done systematically. And so, so this is because I believe in not having restrictions um, and, and allowing for some flexibility in your, in your, in your life. Um, every diet that I had been on, um, I had gotten myself to the point of complete and utter disgust and frustration with myself that I, I would have myself fully convinced that I was fine with never eating bad again. Like I was fine with it because I was so fed up with how I felt and how I looked. And I was fine with never eating pizza or cookies or ice cream again until about 10 days into the diet when I wanted to eat it again. And so, so again, we, we have to be real about this. And 10% and of your, your calories a day could be a glass of wine, it could be a cookie, but it, it has to be logged and it has to be figured in. And again, we'll talk about this as soon as we, we get started. Um, so the, the macro exchange sheet was uh, a sheet that you received on your, uh, on your meal plan. Uh, and it looked like this. Can you guys see this? Okay, so this sheet is really important. And um, I know if you haven't had a chance to look at the video, um, it, it, this isn't gonna make a whole lot of sense to you, but this is really important because this talks about what you could do if you wanted to swap out uh, ingredients. So like I told you with the oatmeal um, and Lucy wasn't putting in the, the walnuts, well, if she had a walnut allergy or was tired of having walnuts every day or was out of walnuts, um, you know, she can look in here and see that walnuts is a nut and she could replace the walnuts with anything else in this entire category. So if she wanted to use any other nut, she could. Um, if she wanted to put peanut butter, she could, but the change is one tablespoon instead of the two because that's just what the, the, the grams are the same. Um, any nut butter, um, if she wanted to have olives, I mean, never know if she wanted to have olives on the side of her oatmeal, it would not matter um, as long as it is a fat, uh, it, it would not matter. So um, this applies to all of your meals. So looking at your lunch, if you didn't wanna put turkey on your turkey sandwich, and you wanted to use tuna or chicken or any deli meat, uh, fish, 
tofu, as long as it is the same portion, you can exchange it. But you, you have to be careful because um, if you're trading three ounces of turkey that is 90 calories for three ounces of, of uh, chicken thigh meat, which is 180 calories, you're going to run out of calories sooner. Does that make sense? You could have it, but you have a budget. And just like a, just like a checking account, well, if you only have $1,500 to spend in a day and you blow your first you know, stash at, uh, you know, Neiman Marcus in the morning, you're not going to have as much to, to spend throughout the day. So, so you have to keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I'll never say no, if you want to replace, uh, you know, chicken breast with thigh meat, but like I said, um, you're not, you're going to run out of calories and then you're not going to be able to have your, your 150 splurge because that is going to be your splurge. Okay. And again, this will be discussed uh, more when we uh, when we get to that point. Okay, oops, wrong way. All right, so moving on. Fitness pal, honestly, your worst enemy right now will become your best friend. Um, and and if I was not so uh, so sure about this, I would not push it. Um, you you do have a seventy five percent increased success rate by using this. It's true. I've seen it happen. Um, and not, not only with me and my program, um, Google it, look up uh, blogging and losing weight. It is. It, it will come up in every article. You have a, a, a higher success rate. Um, you are accountable for uh, seeing what you're doing. Uh, and not only that, but you are aware of the caloric worth of food. Um, even the most masterful people um, who, who really are educated on nutrition will be fooled. And I've had it happen to me many times where I will make a dish. Um, I was, I was experimenting with veganism last summer and I was vegan for four months and I made this quinoa black bean, uh, avocado thing dish. And I followed this recipe and it was awesome. And I mean, it was just like every possible like superfood you can imagine. I put it in fitness pal, it was 850 calories a serving. And I mean, it was like a dish like this. I was like, oh, what if I wouldn't have did that? I would have been so mad at myself. So, so that brings awareness, awareness. So, so not only that, but sometimes what you're eating might not be worth it. You know, you might like second guess that smoothie and go, 380 for this, I'd, I'd rather have my wine later. So, so it brings awareness to what you're doing and it educates you. Um, and there's not a single person that has been successful uh, on my program that would argue this, not a single person. The more you use the program, the easier it will become. Um, and and uh, it, it, it all ties together with weighing and measuring your food. Uh, in order for you to log an item, you actually have to put it on the food scale or put it in a measuring cup. Um, we start getting sloppy um, and then we don't get true measurements, then we don't see results. So, so it again, it all ties together. Um, my role as an admin, I don't see your weight uh, on there. That's why I ask you to text me every day. Um, I only see on the newsfeed, it'll say your, your, username, which I don't have those all memorized, uh, lost, you know, 0.2 pounds. Um, I don't see your weight. So if you gained a pound, it doesn't say, you know, Lisa Jones gained two pounds. It'll just tell me every time you drop. So if you are gaining a pound every other day, but then dropping a pound every other day, it just looks to me like you're dropping weight every day, every other day. I'm not seeing the gains. So that's why I need you to still text me. Um, I can't see your recipes. I can't see any of the of the internal uh, uh, macros, I only see what you have logged. So so don't think that I can see all of your um, you know your your notes and all that stuff. That's all just you. Um, so so that is important. And then there's a big difference between recipes and meals, and I'm gonna show you the difference. And this is so important. All right, so. And this was also in your in your uh, my fitness pal uh, packet, but um, 
my little dog wants to come in. Okay, so breakfast, lunches, and snacks. Anything that's a single serving, you should create a meal. Think of it this way. A meal is one meal. It's for you, one person. Um, multiple servings uh, for a lot of people, uh, like the muffin recipe too, or the uh, like a batch of cookies or a stew for a lot of people, that's a recipe. Two totally different things. Um, I prefer that you do not make your single serving entries as a recipe because then when you enter it, I don't see the ingredients. I only see uh, oats, you know, happy oats breakfast. And so I can't see what kind of oats you used. I can't see if you entered in uh, peanut butter too high. I, I can't see the values. Um, so when you do it this way, I can see. And I put together a two minute little tutorial to show you. Um, and I'm gonna talk you through it. So you can see here, can you guys see this okay? Um, I am putting in uh, my ingredients. So I search for oats, I find a cup of oats. Now, because the recipe only is a half a cup, I have to change my portion to a half and I hit add to diary. And you can see now it goes right in there. Now I'm gonna put in the next ingredient and I put in blueberries. Search, I find blueberries. And there's a cup of blueberries. I'm gonna change it to a half a cup. And this works the same on your phone. And there it is. Now I'm gonna put in the next ingredient, walnuts. So here's a cup of walnuts. Now notice all my options. So since I'm gonna do a tablespoon, I found tablespoon, change that to two. And, and now keep in mind, once you do this once, it's, it's, in, your, it's in your log. Oh, I'm sorry, I only did one because my recipe only had one. And my recipe also had flax seeds. So I look for flax seeds, I find a tablespoon of flax seeds and I add it. So now this is the best part, watch. I don't have to enter this every day. Wait, what am I doing here? Oh yes, I made it with almond milk, forgot. Okay, so I'm gonna add some almond milk. Make sure I get the one that's unsweetened because you can see there's all these other varieties. And now this is the best part. So I don't really have to do this every day. I'm gonna go to quick tools. I'm gonna hit remember meal. I'm gonna name my meal. name it whatever you want. And obviously I have many other meals set up already in my fitness pal. Yours is probably gonna be blank. And save it. Okay, so when I look at your log, I can see all the ingredients. So I'm gonna go to tomorrow, add food, go to meals. These are all my pre-existing meals. So I have a couple pages worth. And there it is. Now watch what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Isn't that beautiful? So, so now you don't have to spend all this time, but watch, let's just say the next day, you're not gonna make it with almond milk. You could just subtract that, or you're not gonna put blueberries in. Maybe you're gonna use raspberries or apples. And so you could actually now create another meal without starting over. And this is gonna come in handy when you get month two, because a lot of the meals are pretty similar, um, you know, but there's some switches to the, to the ingredients. Um, so once you get these in here, you could see I put no milk, save it, and now it's in there. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna go to, oops, I made a mistake. I didn't feel like doing the entire video over. So <laughs> go back and there it is. No milk. And 
and that's how you do it. Okay. So again, it works the same on the phone. It's just, uh, you know, obviously not as big and uh, very, very convenient. Okay. So that is how you do the meals. Super easy. Whoops. And uh, I actually created this uh, and put it on YouTube and I will be uh, posting this link on, um, on uh, uh, Facebook also so that you guys could uh, copy that and share it. Okay, so here is how to do a recipe, a little different. So for a recipe, you it's a little bit more complex um, and uh, follow along with me on this. Oh, I, I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys hear that? You guys don't hear that? No. I hear, oh, thank goodness. I was hearing a, a, a Asian man talking. Okay, so I put in uh, Get You Fit Muffin. I opened up recipes. Do you guys want me to start that over? Did you guys see that? I put in Get You Fit Muffin. I changed the portions to 12. Okay, so now watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna open up my uh, meal plan. And yours looks a little different because you haven't gotten this yet. I'm gonna update your meal plan. I don't know if you saw it on Facebook. I'm, I'm gonna give you guys some pretty meal plans like this. Uh, they'll be done as soon as I get them done. So I'm copying and pasting the ingredients. And you could do this right off of your little Excel sheet too, okay? Or you could just type them in word for word if you're not tech savvy. Um, I was taking me a little long this morning. I wasn't sure if I was doing it or you guys could see it. Keep in mind, it was only 3.30 in the morning. All right, so I cut and paste it. And so now I'm gonna go back to uh, my fitness pal. And I'm going to just hit paste right in that box. Any day now. There we go. Okay. You could also type in each ingredient. So that's it. It made it made my my recipe. But look at what happened. This is what I want to warn you. You have to check each ingredient because it's not that smart. And I caught two mistakes. Um, I caught that it only put in two ounces of applesauce. And so I needed to change that. It was actually should have been two four ounce cups. Um, and this this is a problem that people will make all the time where they won't they won't see uh, that it made a mistake. And the other mistake it made is um, I put two scoops of protein powder. And my protein powder is actually 150 calories for one scoop. Um, and so it should have been 300 calories worth. Um, and so now my muffins are 83 calories each. Uh, it's in my log now, I hit save. And there it is with the rest of my recipes. So now when I go to eat the muffin, I'm gonna go back to home. Quick tools, I'm sorry, add food, go to meals, recipes rather. And these are all my recipes that I had from before. I'm gonna change it to two because you get two muffins. And hit enter. And there it is, it's in there now. Okay, so when you when you put in all of your uh, all of your recipes, they're in there forever. So, so it's a pain, yes it is. But um, the reason I don't have, I, I don't share recipes is, is this. My protein powder might be, my protein powder might be 150 calories a scoop, um, but yours might be 140. Uh, I might use raisins, you might use uh, raisins. Um, I might use almond milk. Someone else might use coconut milk. Uh, but it gets more complex because look at the beef stew, for example. Someone might use 
80% lean beef, someone might use flank steak. Someone might use red potatoes. Someone might use Yukon potatoes. Someone might use, you know, stewed tomatoes. I mean, the, the, the differences are so, uh, so extreme that if, if I let people share recipes 15 programs ago, um, you know the telephone game, right? We used to play at slumber parties. I mean, the, the, the beef stew recipe, by the time it reached you, would be so inaccurate, it wouldn't even be funny. So, and, and you, then you're never learning. You're never learning how to create recipes. And what I love about this is now that you know how to make a, a recipe, let's just say three months down the road, you want to add, uh, you know, chocolate chips to your muffin because you can't afford it because you are losing weight. Your metabolism is faster and you're, you want your muffins to be a hundred calories each. You can manipulate those ingredients by adding uh, in that recipe until that number hits hundred. And that is exactly how I create my recipes. I sit on that, my fitness pal and I add ingredients till I get that, uh, that calorie point to where I want it. And, and that is the, the best part of, of learning my fitness pal. All right, so let's talk about workouts. Um, there are um, uh, live workouts on our Facebook page. And uh, the consensus was actually most people voted that they prefer to do the, the recorded versions. So this is our Facebook page and where you find the workouts is right here under uh, popular topics. So popular topics of the group is, is where you want to look if, if you want to find information. So important information is here. Um, I, I, I highlight all the things that are of importance, but if you go to workouts, um, all the old workouts for the last 20 weeks are here and you can pull them up and do them anytime you want. Okay. So these are done Wednesday morning and I do them live. And, uh, if you want to join in, you just turn your Facebook on and join in live. Uh, if you don't want to do it live, uh, pop on here and it'll be right here for you to do it. And I will attach it to the, um, to the um, newsletter each week as well, okay? So that is the live workouts. Um, the other uh, option, the other option is my premium workout channel. So my premium workout channel uh, is uh, on my website. So here's my website. And what you do is you go to workout channel and uh, this is, you, you all get a free trial, get one free month. There are eight different workouts. Uh, this one, they're all half hour and they're all within a, a modifiable uh, range. So I, I, I show the different levels. This one's all weights, this one's cardio, this one is strength, it's like a hit. This one is all on the floor, legs and butt. This one is yoga, this one is sticks, maybe little drumsticks. This one's tread, you could do it on a treadmill, you could do it outside, you could do it on uh, elliptical. And then this one is rotate, you could do it on a bike. Um, and so um, it, after your free trial, uh, you can continue on for either $88 a year or just $8 a month. So either way, uh, you just sign up for this and, and give, give it a try if you wanted to do that. Um, if you do this, there is a, a workout sheet that you get that gives you suggestions on what classes to do each day. And of course, you have me to tell you what to do too. So I have a lot of people that literally text me their weight in the morning and they're like, what should I do? And I'm like, well, I'll do, you know, Ignite, you know, Empower 2 or whatever. Um, and people love, 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 love the workout. So um, that is one other option. Uh, within about three days of joining, you should get a workout commitment email. It looks like this. Um, it talks about workout expectations. And if for some reason you didn't get it, because I know there's a lot of emails that went out, uh, send me a text later and I'll resend it to you. But this talks about how you are going to decide what level you are. Um, and what I need you to do then is put yourself in either beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Um, at that point, based on what this says, uh, you click on one of these and it, it basically tells you what, what I expect you to do. 
Um, so if you're basic level, it breaks down minimum of three days a week, tells you how much cardio to do. And, and it, it kind of is like a, a, a basic outline of what your expectations are. Um, next week, I'm going to send you guys all um, another workout sheet where you, are, you and I are gonna actually put together a plan that works for you. So it'll be more you telling me if you do yoga at a gym, if you have a bike at home, if you signed up for Ignite, if you do the live workouts so that we can come up with a more concrete um, schedule. And at the six week point, when we meet for our face-to-face -face conferences via Zoom, um, we're going to evaluate this and, and see how you're doing with it and, and see if we have to tweak it at all. All right, so keys to success. Really, I think about this all the time. I think like, what makes this program so successful? Um, you've probably heard me say this before. I don't advertise. Um, all, of my, all of my clients, all of you came here literally by referral. And, and the people that referred you came by referral. And I love that. Um, I used to sit here and spend all this time and money marketing and advertising. And um, when I started putting on the application, how'd you find me? And it was 99% were referral. I thought I'm done advertising. It annoys people and <laughs> it, it, it costs me so much money. And I really, I'm, I didn't go to school for marketing. So I didn't know really what I was doing anyway. So, so the key to success, um, as I think about what makes people successful, it's right here. The daily texts are huge. Um, when I started this forever ago and I was texting, you know, 30 people a day, people thought I was nuts. And now that I'm texting 500 people a day, people think I'm really nuts, but it really is what makes this successful. Um, without having that, that guidance, um, I can tell you, I can think of all the people that would have derailed if it wasn't for me, like at the beginning, especially explaining things to them and explaining that that you know the fluctuations of weight are normal and, and that I will help them figure out the meal prep and I will help them figure out how to, how to snack and, and help them figure out their schedules. Um, it's, it's, you're not bothering me. Um, this, is, this is what is going to make you successful. And uh, I, I joke all the time and say, the, the people on, my, um, on the, this, this part of my wall here, these people here, um, I say this is not my this is not my success wall. These are the people that text me the most uh, in 2020. <laughs> it's true. They text me the most. This is why they're here, because you know. And 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 you know, don't you don't need to text me silly you know things that you can Google. You know, don't text me like how many grams are in uh how many grams of protein are in you know chicken. You can look that up yourself, but. Text me the important things. Like text me when you're when you're feeling confused. Text me when you're feeling like this program's not for you. Uh, text me when you feel like you you've made a mistake because that is when I'm going to take this and make it work for you. And and I I am the master of doing that. I assure you. And and talk to the people around you, and they will tell you that I've done it for them, and I will do it for you. But if you don't tell me that, I won't know. Um, the the 3% of people um, that don't continue on to tier two and tier three and become loyal members um, are the ones that don't tell me they're struggling. They're the ones that hide. They're the ones that, that don't answer my texts when I reach out. So if you wanna be one of the 97% of people that succeed, then you have to let me know. And uh, like I said in the newsletter yesterday, you know, if you're texting me your weight and it hasn't moved, um, and you don't hear back from me, you know, I, I sometimes will scan through the text if it's just a wait um, and, and save the lengthier text for when you do have questions. Um, and or if I, if I miss a text of importance, text me again. I will, I'll be more upset if, if, if I accidentally forgot to hit send. We've all done that before. Um, let me know if I've missed an email or a text. It's, it is of the most importance to me. Um, to let me know, okay? Um, emails, uh, you will not get as much email traffic from me as you did already. Um, I, I'm very, very loyal to that. Um, it's gonna slow down to the newsletter. Um, and then maybe a, on occasion, a, a midday, midweek on occasion, but I, 
I am very dedicated to the one a week because the more you get, the more you're going to miss. So um, if you subscribe to my blog, that comes from a different address um, that comes from my website. But the Irene at Get You Fit Fitness and Nutrition, that is going to be the weekly newsletter. So you will not miss that. Make it a favorite so you don't miss it. Um, uh, I have a program where I could see what uh, what people have received, what people have opened, what people what people have have what has bounced. So um, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, uh, when someone says they didn't get an email, it's it's in spam. Um, and so always check spam, do a search, um, make me a favorite, or put me in a smart folder so that it doesn't get lost. Um, and then finally, my website. Um, make that your friend. Um, and I'm going to put these two together, the Zoom presentations and my website. Um, I am slowly, slowly uh, making my website um, a home for you guys. Um, I just recently started doing my own website. And I love that I can do my own website because I, I built it for my members. Um, I have my workout channel here. Um, I have my podcasts. You can find them all right here. Um, this will enhance your program. I'm not telling you you should listen to them, but if you get used to listening to them, they will be a game changer. Um, there's almost a hundred of them on here. So you could do a search uh, for really anything. If you are a stress eater and you wanna know if I have one on stress eating, put it in. Uh, well, I know I have one on stress eating. Maybe it's just not called that. Um, and, and, and it'll come up, here it is, emotional eating. Um, and they're, they're also on Spotify. Um, my blog, super important. All of these foods you can eat. How can you eat them? Well, I've created all of these and I post these each week with in mind that they're for my members, but these are also open to uh, everybody. So tell your friends, tell your family, um, but I've created them knowing that whatever I post, you can have. Um, you don't have to worry about if there's a fat, if there's a protein, if there's a carb, because I've done that. So eat it as is. It's, it's fine. Um, if you are looking at your breakfast choices and you're like, hmm, I kind of want something different, hop on here. Yes, you can have a donut. Um, yes, you can. It's on my blog. You can have it. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for a, a, a different dinner recipe, hop on here. You can have any of these. It's on my blog. You can have it. Um, and I've designed my blog for members to be able to do this. Okay. Um, and if you subscribe to my blog by putting your email address in here, you'll get uh, an email every time I put one out, which is usually once a week. Okay. Uh, my reviews are here. I'm telling you this because... Um, I build in incentives for members. If you uh, leave me a review here or on Google, you'll automatically get $10 off your next session, which is awesome. And you already get a discount to continue on to tier two. So um, a lot of people end up getting tier two for about $150 because of the reviews and, and um, referrals and stuff. So that's kind of fun. Um, and then finally, I really wanna show you this. Um, where did it go? Uh, book a session. Um, I, I just put out, and I didn't email it yet. Um, I just put out a 20% coupon. If anybody, uh, first uh, tier people want to add uh, extra support, um, I added 20% uh, this three pack, uh, three sessions for $99. Um, I dropped the price to, I think, 79. Uh, so what these, yeah, 79. Uh, three so basically you can buy three half hour Zoom sessions with me and meet me once a month for added support if you feel like you need it. Um, and if not, there's many times where I will be like, all right, you need help, let's get on, let's Zoom. Uh, if you need to get on my Zoom, you just hop onto here. This will take you directly to my Zoom. So you're not having to search for it and look for it. Um, my downloads here, these downloads, the free ones, you could eat everything off the downloads. You just go on here. It says $5, but everyone has a coupon code. You just enter the coupon code and then it's free. 
These are full size recipe books. Again, there's cookies on here, there's breakfasts on here, there's lunches on here. You can have anything off of these as long as you log them. And then the final thing I wanna say is um, all of the Zoom presentations, once I do them, uh, I post them here. So these are all of last sessions. So if you wanna hop on here uh, on a rainy day and check these out, they're all very interesting, okay? And I think I have, oh yes, the really big one. Oh yeah, there it is. I forgot to put that in there, okay? Um, so trust the process, um, ask for help, self-forgive, set SMART goals. SMART goals are, are sustainable, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time measurable goals. Be realistic and be patient. And I can tell you by looking at every single one of these people, every single one was this close to derailing so many times. Uh, Brenda wouldn't get on the scale for months and months and months. And, and, and Mimi was uh, an over-exerciser and Karen lost weight 30, 30 pounds twice with me, I gained it back and, and lost it again. And, and Diana wasn't eating enough. Would you believe I upped her calories and look at her at 60 years old, insane. Um, uh, these two are my, these two are ambassadors now. And, and um, Lydia uh, has five kids and she teaches elementary school and she did this during a pandemic. And um, uh, Pat here lost a hundred pounds in one year. It, it's, it's crazy. And then of course I have to share my, my story because I was never, I was never uh, one that had the blessed metabolism. Um, this here was me in 2010. Um, this one here, uh, it's hard to see, but, uh, in 2013, despite the fact that I was a runner and a fast one, I was still struggling with my weight. Um, in 2016, I lost the weight, gained it back. And you can see here, I was up 30 pounds. Uh, in 2017, I finally lost it. And here I am last year, my 50th birthday, uh, I, successfully kept it off um, since then. So my message is don't ever give up and just always trust the process. And when I say trust the process, it basically means be patient because it, it really it really boils down to that, is, is that patient. Questions? No questions? Let me unmute you guys. I have a question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I know we have our calories for every day. And mm -hmm. so should we, if we haven't used them all, let's say I have 400 left at the end of the day. Like, do mm -hmm. I have to eat that? And do, no. we, so, and do we have to have a bedtime snack? <laughs> yeah. So, so no, you do not have to have a bedtime snack. If you have 400 calories left, you are allowed to be under by 200. Okay. Okay. If you're if you are 400 under, then what I would want you to do is let me know because I'd have to look at your log. Um, somewhere in there, you're 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 doing something um, wrong that you're you're under that much. So I'd have to look. I mean, yeah. maybe you're yeah. you're miss you're missing something. Yeah, it's just, it's happened a few times, and I'm like, do yeah. I just go? Do I you know? Yeah. What do I okay. yeah. If it if it happens one day, never force feed yourself. That's completely. Um, but if it happens one day and then it happens again, then somewhere in there, we need to tweak something. So what you want to do then is text me, text me your fitness pal name. I'll go on and look at your fitness pal and then I'll make a recommendation. Okay. Uh, and it might be something just really minimal. I might just be like, well, you are doing everything right, but so let's add an extra yolk to your breakfast or add another tablespoon of, of something to your, um, uh, you know, your oats, um, right. because the key is, um, and please listen to my podcasts on this. Um, the, the biggest misconception, and I'm I'm a living proof of this, um, is we think that that less calories is going to bring us weight loss, and it will, but then you're signing yourself up 
for uh, weight gain. And, and I could tell you, if you saw my picture of me running that marathon, I was at, I was at like 12, 1300 calories a day then as a runner, I would eat, I would eat calories to, to, to train. Um, and, and now I'm, I'm between 115, 116 pounds, and I don't even really log anymore. And I'm at probably like 1800, 2000 calories a day because I have increase my metabolic rate. Um, so, so if you diet and lose weight at a, at a low number, you'll lose, but then, then you're stuck. So, so definitely shoot me your, um, your fitness pal name and I'll look. Okay. Other question. I have one, Irene. Um, I was wondering, uh, did you say the meals come out once a month? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So uh, your, um, they actually come out before the month is over because I like to give you guys time to, you know, shop and stuff. So um, I'm going to publish the, the dates of when they're all coming out. But because I'm completely, you know, I, I, I just revised what I'm doing for the loyal members and I created theirs in a cookbook. So the, the long story is um, I have members that are on month 40. Um, and so imagine having 40 months of a meal plan that looks like the one that you just got. They're having a really hard time with the organization of it. So I've decided to redo all of my plans and make them like a cookbook style so that you will have, be able to put all of your breakfasts together and all of your lunches together. And so, um, so I'm going to revise them, but nonetheless, you're going to get your next one, uh, the program started on the 2018th, uh, you'll get them probably this 10th of February-ish. So coming up again, by the way. Other question? I have a question for you really quick. Could you explain the difference between um, the protein powder and the casein? Am I saying that right? Yeah. Powder? Yeah. I, I totally confused by that. <laughs> Okay, sure. Um, so there's two there's two different types of, of protein. There's um, the whey. I mean, there's all different types too, but there's primarily there's whey, there's soy, there's but the the most common is the whey, and then there's the casein. So um, think of it this way: simply said, little Miss Muffet who's standing there tuffet, eating the cur curds and whey. So when you are making cheese, and when little Miss Muffet was sitting on her tuffet, uh, and the curd and the whey separated. The curd was what was in the cheesecloth, right? That is the casein part. The whey is like the clear milky product. Um, that is just what happens to uh, a dairy product when, when we make cheese or we make any kind of dairy, okay? So, so we have whey and we have casein. Um, so cottage cheese is actually a casein. Um, uh, milk is a whey. Um, we, we just don't call it that. So when you buy protein powders, they, uh, dehydrate that and they take the whey, which is, you know, the milk one, and they make that the way that you buy. And then they take the casein one and they dehydrate that and they make that casein. Well, what happens when you consume them are two completely different things. So the way is fast digesting. So I drink whey during the day. I drink it and it goes right to my muscle source, like immediately my bloodstream, it's feeding my muscles. The protein goes right to it and it is instant energy. Okay. And I'm not talking energy like a five hour energy, but I'm saying it's, it's replenishing my, my mu muscles uh, immediately. Okay. Um, the casein um, is like a time release. Um, it digests slow, um, like an extended release medication, pretty much. Um, and so, and, and this is not something that they've done chemically. It's just something that happens naturally. So if you eat cottage cheese, um, this happens naturally. Um, so when you make the casein or you eat the casein, uh, the reason why you should have it at night is because you're not moving. 
and you're sitting stationary. So when you make the pudding or you drink a shake with casein at night, what it does is it releases slowly through the night, just like a time release, release capsule. And so that enhances your metabolism. And since you're not moving, um, it releases the protein and the nutrients slowly while you're in an idle state. Um, now, will it hurt you to do the casein during the day? No, but um, you're not gonna feel the immediate effects of it because it's not gonna go right to your muscle source. Um, and drinking the whey at night isn't gonna hurt you either, but you're not getting the effects of that time release through the night. Um, so in addition to that, the casein, just like the curd, um, is a different texture. It's thick, um, just like cottage cheese is thicker than milk. And so when you mix it, um, it has a completely different texture. And so it, it is a great way to make dessert. So if you try to make uh, pudding with the whey, it, it's real runny. Um, if you make the pudding or ice cream or uh, some of the desserts that I have coming up with the casein, um, it, it's a lot more firm because it's just a thicker um, product. Um, and so that's it's kind of like a, a double plus. So not only is it great for nighttime, but it's also um, thicker. So it, it forms uh, better for, for desserts. So does that answer your question? And then we can just get that off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, I have a wish list, and uh, I actually put the wish list link um, on the bottom of the newsletter that you should have gotten yesterday, and um, it's also it's also uh, on Facebook. But just text me if you don't if you don't have it, and I'll send it to you again. Uh, but it's on um, the Amazon wish list. Um, and you can get it at any uh, health food store, but I have found that it's much cheaper on Amazon by a lot. And uh, there's a lot more flavors. So when you go on Amazon and you, you look at it, uh, sometimes the price is dictated by the flavor. So, and that goes probably by supply and demand, but I've, I've looked before and I've seen even like a, a, almost a double price difference between flavors. And all the flavors are great. You know, there's chocolate, there's cinnamon roll, there's strawberry, there's vanilla. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what flavor you pick, but um, there's there's ice cream that I'm going to have you make. There's cookies. There's I mean, if you if you download my samplers um, that I just showed you, half of the desserts in there are made with uh, with protein powder and casein. So, and it's perfectly safe for kids too, because again, it's it's. It's no different than eating a cottage cheese, but it is not dairy free. So, cause it's a milk product. Okay. Any other questions? What would your plan be on the um, uh, measuring? Do you do that once a month, once a week? Yeah, so do your measurements once a month. Uh, once a week, you're not gonna see enough of a, of a change, but if you just do them once a month, um, the first ones, I don't ask you to turn them into me because there's nothing to compare them to. But then the second month, if you can send them to me and I'll remind you because it's nice to see the, um, you know, the changes. And that, I can't tell you how many people don't do it the first month. Um, you know, it's either avoidance or, or you know, just don't want it, don't think it's important. Um, and I, I actually have a, a client of mine, she's lost a uh, hundred pounds, not the one that I just showed you, a, a different lady. And she would not let me measure her. She wouldn't let me take a picture of her. Uh, and funny story, she's 66 years old. We had no idea that she was gonna end up losing a hundred pounds. Um, she came to me just to basically, she wanted to be able to walk again. And uh, she was a widow and um, now she's got a boyfriend. So awesome, I got her to walk a 5K. I mean, it's just such a great story. Um, and we were so mad. She wouldn't let me take a picture of her. Well, I was cleaning my phone one year, uh, uh, just a few months ago, and I accidentally videotaped her. Like, you know how sometimes your phone will like just randomly video, it videotaped something. And I got a weird video of her the very first week she started. And I was so happy. 
And uh, my, my point is, no matter how bad you think it is, take a picture. You'll be glad you did. So, all right, guys, any more questions? Will we have any more of these meetings throughout? Oh yeah, so, so what I do is um, we'll, we'll be doing weekly Zoom meetings. Um, and so the Zoom meetings will all have topics. So the first one I'm gonna do is uh, talking to you about uh, the essentials versus the non-essentials. And then we'll always have time for questions and answers afterward. Um, and then if you read the newsletter, um, I, have, uh, I have open Zoom hours also. So what I basically do is I, I, I schedule time in my day where I don't take appointments and I'll just have my Zoom room open. So you could just pop in and ask me questions. So this week, my open hours are, I think, Tuesday, no, Wednesday and Thursday at like one and uh, noon. And then next week, I'll do some in the evening and then I'll do some in the morning. And um, there's plenty of time where we, we get together. So the Zooms that we do will be um, about weekly. So yeah, we'll, there'll, there'll be lots of these. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, this is really good. It's been a week for me and I did do the measurements and it's like an inch um, everywhere. <laughs> I know so, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, and, and honestly, I, and I'll tell you this way down the road when, when you are at your goal and you feel like oh, skills not moving anymore. I tell my people that have been with me for like two years, I'm like, get, get your, get your, your, your ruler out. I still, when I'm, when I'm having like a day where I'm like, oh, why did the scale go up? I just take out my ruler and I'm like, okay, we're good. You know, because it, that scale is, is such a nemesis, but you, you do need it. It's your guide ultimately, you know, but the, 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 the measurements is the tell-all. I mean, that's not going to lie to you, you know? So, all right, you guys. And, and you are welcome to come to any of the other ones too, if you wanted to come sit, sit through this again. So, okay. All right, thanks so much. Thank All you right, guys, we'll, we'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Irene. Thank you. Bye, see ya. Thank you.